I'm going to just take my seat, if I don't trip over my foot, <laughs> and welcome to my little office. And now I'm going to tell you random thoughts I've been having recently and solutions to those thoughts. Okay, so recently as I have gone about my way, walking the streets, because we live, we live um, kind of downtown in LA, a little bit downtown, we live mid-downtown, mid-Wilshire, and um, as I go out and walk to the grocery store with Jose and things like that, I've been very aware, just extremely aware of the humanity around me, because there are so many homeless people that live around us and um, you know when we can we we uh, try to stop and pray for them and you know five bucks here maybe buy them a subway card over there or whatever but um, I mean subway is a restaurant for those of you who don't live in in um, the US it's a it's a fast food joint healthy food kind of <laughs> and um, things like that so we we try to really be led to as we can to take up some of the burden and we also are very close to people who work with the homeless in Texas and things like that but it's such a big thing here. It is so, there's so many, many people and just so broken and it's just so sad. You know, you see tents everywhere you go. And then the brokenness of, the, of humanity when it comes to the shooting on Wednesday, today's Saturday, and um, the shooting in um, Florida and just heartbreaking. I mean, it's all around us. So, so anyway, I went to try to pray this morning, and I was just so consumed with, it's like, it's like, how do I, what do I do? How do we do this? You know, trying to, the pressure of, of how can I be a part of, of the answer? And it's like, as I thought and thought and sat there trying to get, a, get into the presence of God, it's like I was so overwhelmed that it caused more harm than good. You know, it's like I became anxious. And I think that that happens to all of us. But then, it's like God broke through. And I'm going to tell you the solution that he brought to my mind. All of a sudden, I thought of this song that I've always loved. Muffins, Muffins, do you want to go out? Go ahead. Um, I thought of this song that, that I just love. It always makes me aware of the truth. And um, as I was kind of singing it silently to God, to myself, two visions that I've had recently came to my mind, <clears throat> and I just wanted to, you know, first sing the song and then tell you because the the visions that I remembered had held the answer to how do we cope? How do I? I'll take it personal. How do I cope with this, and and what is my part? So, um, the song is, it's from a scripture, I forget which scripture, but it is, How precious, O oh Lord, is your unfailing love, we find refuge in the shadow of your wings. We feast, Lord Jesus, in the abundance of your house, and we drink from your rivers of delight. With you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. With you fountain of life in your life.
we see light. So that like kicked off into my mind two visions that I've had that really are hold the answer to it all. The first vision, the first vision I had many years ago, over 10 years ago, I think it was in 19, you know, in 2006, in 2006 or 7, I had the vision of, um, I saw a huge fountain, just a huge fountain, and I saw businessmen, I, I guess the businessman represents each one of us, okay? Holding briefcases, holding, holding um, little suitcases, walking up to the fountain, and then setting down. The, the briefcases um, were symbolic of our agendas, okay? All of that weighs on our shoulders. And I saw each businessman coming and putting down their briefcase and then just stepping into the fountain. And it's like that is, that describes what happens when we come into the presence of God. How if we lay down our own agendas and all of the things that burden us and we just step into his fountain of life. It's like we're revived and it's like we can breathe again, you know? Okay, that's one vision I had that kind of spoke into this. Because he's the only one who can carry all of these burdens that hound us in this world. And the other vision that I've had more recently, it's like, it is, all right, in the Bible, it says that God's light, He Himself is the light that lights up heaven, right? And I've seen myself just coming, walking right into his light, his light, his presence, his love. And you know what? Honestly, if we were, if I were to die this second, all of my cares, everything would be gone. I wouldn't have to worry about anything ever again. I would just, I would just be free, you know? And if we can close our eyes and just imagine ourselves in His light, in His love, in His presence, just like basking in it, <clears throat> it's like all burdens fall off of us because He truly is the only one who can handle. And then, as we bask in His presence, it's like His presence just overtakes us, and then we can be filled with His love that can come through our eyes to that homeless person. Or we'll have the words to say to that homeless person or the words of comfort to those who are mourning right now, you know, and it's like, or even we'll be filled, he will provide the finances to be able to give to those in need, and it will happen according to what he knows is best, and it's like all the burdens he takes over, and we are free from all of the cares of the world, and, and he will lead and guide us into knowing each second how to allow his, his presence, his love to come through us. So those were my random thoughts in these last couple of days. And I hope they help. And Lord, I pray that anybody who's been burdened, like I have recently with all the cares of the world, Lord, and not knowing how to how to pray how to how to 
help, Lord. I just ask that you would help these individuals to just come into your fountain of love, laying down their own agendas, come into your light, and just be filled with your presence, Lord, and your peace that surpasses all comprehension. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, turn it off. <laughs> Bye.